Hey. Hi. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Cosmic Trailblazers. Yay! Because life is meant to be fun. Yeah, it is. All right, so what are we chatting about today, my friend? Today we are talking about dressing in your 40s. Yes, and we are also going to have a special guest today, aren't we? Well, yes, yes, we are. And I'm excited. Isn't she so adorable? She really is. Oh, she's so I love her. And how old is she again? She is... 44 or 45 she is two years older than us so and she is also dressing very nicely i see in this picture yeah she does she dresses really really well i like the way she dresses all right well let's talk more and let's get this show on the road <laughs> Everybody, and here we're going to be talking about dressing well in your 40s. Yeah. So what's the number one thing that women should think about when dressing in their 40s? What do you think? Number one thing is your, your under thingies, like your panties and your bra. Like number one, your bra. Yeah, so let's check those puppies out. See how right? nicely... They're contoured, they've got nice thick straps to really gives you support. Right? I think that most women have the wrong size bra. Absolutely. I would say probably the stats are like 90% of women or something to that effect. Yeah, 80% somewhere around there. I don't know what it is, but it is, uh, it's ungodly. What you so, need to do is get yourself to a store and get them to measure you in the proper areas. Yeah, um, I know that you can take a measuring tape yourself and just go around where your band would be and nice don't squeeze it or be very tight with the measurements and then you measure all around the breasts nipple area where it's the most out and then all oh, okay. around that. and those two measurements are used in the calculator online that you can use yourself at home if, if you can't make it till to one of those uh tailors or, or bra measuring kind of people yes Absolutely. Absolutely. And I know for sure on Amazon, I was just checking it out and they have the bras that I was actually measured for in the store, which is the prima donna bra that you were showing earlier, one of one of those brands. So um, I recommend those ones highly. We're going to put some links in the description box below if you are interested in checking out those kind of bras. Um, I really recommend everybody has like a good t-shirt bra, one that doesn't have any lines and that kind of thing, no lace and hoo-ha, maybe even like a nude color. That's, that's the one that I rock on a regular basis just because it's the only one that you can wear underneath a white shirt. You know what I mean? You can't wear a white bra under a white shirt without it being like, if you want it to not show up, it's got to be nude. Nude, yeah. I know, I heard that too, Go and nude, I, I, I definitely like my nude bra, it kind of matches your skin and, and doesn't show through. Yes. Let's talk about an item that every woman should have in their closet, and that is the a blazer. blazer. A nice blazer. I would get one that is that has the built-in shoulder pad a little bit, but don't go crazy. That's what I would say. Like in all these pictures, they all have some kind of blazer or jacket too. It really makes the outfit and covers any flaws and sort of just tailors and brings it all together. Shirts, you know, nice shirts. These are, tell us about why this makes this shirt pretty cool. Um, one of the things again, that's really popular this season is the puffy sleeves. And the great thing about a puffy sleeve is that it will, um, it'll balance you out. And if you have any kind of tummy issues, so it'll balance out your figure so that you're bigger on top. The hourglass figure, and also the way that her, that the bottom of the shirt kind of tucks up on the sides and then goes down towards the middle, like that tailoring and that kind of thing. And it also is kind of nipped in under the breasts so that you get, again, the nice 
contours, the the really pretty kind of a figure. So nice to have her here. All right. So this is a really nice picture of Reese, isn't it? She's I agree. The I love it. Going wrong like you know, she's so pretty. My gosh, just turned forty-five in March. So, oh wow! She Happy belated wonderful. birthday, Reese! Happy belated birthday! Oh, so she's an Aries, and we like every season. That's interesting. Mm hmm. Very interesting, right? I Fiery like young that. lady. <laughs> so, what do we like about Reese? She's just like wearing some cool clothes, or what's going on there? Uh, we like how her shirt is kind of puffy on the sleeves. We like what she's done there. She's got like a print all over the place, but it's not like a huge print. And uh, I find like big prints can be kind of dating and smaller kind of prints are a little more forgiving and a little younger, right? So yeah, good job. Good job, Reese. So okay. here you are, Reese, with different kinds of hair. Obviously tell that the middle one is beautiful. Looks so much better. Like look at this, her skin tone and stuff looks so different. Yes, she has quite a bit of peach in her. I was just praying if anybody likes those seed colors. By the way, we're going to do a show in the future about what season are you? Yes, yes, we are. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Vibrant, young, and beautiful. That is perfect, Reese. You should stick with 2009. <laughs> well done. Well done, Reese. <laughs> Oh, okay. very good, my friends. Very good. Look at this. So this is her in brown hair. Like, we don't see her in hair. And she's doing this brown correctly because there's chestnut in it, which is the goldenness that she needs. And that's from her right. being a spring. She needs that golden something coming in. And so that chestnut is really on her, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. And here's one more picture of Reese with her daughter. Like, look at, they're like mini-me's. There's Right? They look like best friends or sisters or yeah. It's like who's the daughter, who's the mom? Like Reese is forever young looking. I'm jealous. Okay, and here's one more picture of Reese. You know, the top one is her hair color that looks that it's not right. It it's doesn't not quite right. Golden. It's missing the peachy gold, right? For her. Yeah. Because in that second bottom picture, oh gosh, doesn't she look just amazing? In 2019. Forbes named her as one of the top 100 most powerful women in the world. And that's pretty awesome. That is awesome. Wow. Congratulations, Reese. Go, girl. And you know what? If you wanted to wear a shirt like Reese, you could also place her over top. Isn't that nice? That's available in our description of this video on, on an affiliate link to Amazon. And you could buy it if you're interested. Absolutely. I love that one. I love that color. I think I might get that one. This is our next video, but you could start right now by looking at the four seasons and then we'll get deeper into our next video. Just the tip. My just the tip is let's say you are shopping for pants and you're in a store like let's say costco where you can't try on the pants or there's a lot of stores that have their change rooms or whatever closed right now so let's say you're looking for a pair of pants and you're not sure if it'll fit on your waist nicely or not well i was at costco just yesterday and i bought these jeans and they fit right it fits right around my neck and i can touch the back of these like that and it makes a lovely bib <laughs> but so make sure that the uh, the pants are done up and then reach it all the way around your neck and if it fits like if it uh, touches just touches then it will fit almost perfectly on your waist and that's my just the tip what do you think about that? Did you know that little tip? Wow, that that's I never heard that tip before. If you have to please yeah. not a cool thing because it's not fitting, yeah. Not gonna succeed very well in that. Which leads us into today's word to your mom is be careful of the muffin top. No. <laughs> Beware <laughs> the muffin top. <laughs> If your jeans are looking like this, folks, let's just put them in the closet for a while till we lose some weight and get something a little less uh, 
muffin top ish. Okay. I agree with that tip wholeheartedly. Thus, me shopping at Costco the other day, just out of necessity for like, I went to put on my jeans and I'm like, oh, turns out that uh, COVID hit everybody. I thought I was okay. I thought I was good. <laughs> but it turns out I had just been wearing sweatpants, well, not sweatpants, but uh, leggings this whole time and hadn't noticed. <laughs> right? COVID waiting get you to. Yeah, it can get us all. I thought I was safe. I was like, you know, doing the daily yoga. Uh, well, currently I'm having a little sip too every now and then. So, <sighs> but I have been upping my water intake now. Nice. Uh -huh. And with that, we're going to end with a little picture of Gwyneth Paltrow. Look how beautiful she looks in this picture. You know what? I love that dress. I love that color on her. It's so pretty. Wow. Hey. Yeah, it really is. And let's look at the dress a little bit closer. Uh, well, for one thing, I love that she's got it belted right there and with not right. a huge belt, right? You know, like a few years ago, like it was really popular to have like the big belt around your dress, right? Oh, and right. With the big buckle. Right? Mm-hmm. And I mean, who knows, maybe they are still kind of popular out there, but I know for sure that this size is a perfect, perfect size. I put a link to a very similar belt to this because I think that everybody should have a belt this season or in their lives, basically. You should all have a belt in your lives. And so I found a, a nice one that's like leather and it's reversible. It's black on one side, brown on the other and has a nice gold um, buckle. It's like $21 or something. Anyways, from Amazon, link in the description. Well, thank you for joining us and stay tuned for our next episode, which is what season are you? Please don't forget to like and subscribe down below yes. here.